Yes. Anthony, uh, two congratulations for you. First one, that mustache. Thank you. Second one, a fall in the state finals over a guy from St. Ed's. Hell yeah. Okay, and, and, and listen, listen, I'm going to pan down. That singlet has to itch terribly. That's a Jim Andresi singlet. Okay, that's old man Walter's singlet. You've been around here, right? Yeah. That is literally. It is. Walter, is that the singlet you are? That's my singlet. That is literally the singlet. It's Jim back. Anderson wore that singlet too, right? It's about a hundred and some pounds. That is awesome. Six seconds back. All right, man. So, so look, look. Going into that match. Okay, man, you've been a multiple time state placer. You've just never been able to get it over the hump. In that match, what's going through your mind? You put him on his back. What's going through your mind? Well, I knew he was good on his feet. And I knew I was going to have to wrestle through uh, his position, some of his positioning. Like, uh, I knew I could take advantage of his weak spots, like, maybe on top. And I've been working on top a lot over these past couple of, past couple of weeks. And uh, I've seen a lot of improvement. And uh, it's just been, it's been a hell of a ride. Okay, so so here's the deal. History time, history lesson. You ready? You, you know I gotta put this in here, right? Okay, your dad wrestled my brother, my oldest yep. brother, Ferd, in the state championship, right? Yep. Your dad had him pinned. Your dad had him pinned. He doesn't finish the match. My brother comes back and beats him. Is that ever a thought in your mind? Like, man, I, I put someone back, I'm putting them away. Uh, not really. No, I just, I knew I had him on his back, and I was, I had time, I think. So I was like, let me just settle this in. And I'm looking down, looking down this uh, back flat. I'm like, this better, this is it right here. This isn't it. We still have to keep wrestling, but I saw it, and I was, I was just glad they called him when they did. You can let your dad know about this, your state champion's not. You can let him know about it. <laughs> yeah, I might have to put it in there. You might have to put it in there a little yeah. bit? Why old school singlets? Why do, why do you go old uh, school zigzag? And dude, that is baggy on you. That is like straight up Russian, we gotta, Ukrainian. We gotta tailor it up a little bit though. It's okay. Um, dude, because no one's worn this since 77. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, that was the last. I'm not sure when he graduated, but. In 87. It's been, yeah, it's been gone since. The 80s yeah, at least. At least. So, bring it back. Good luck. So, You're going to Gardner Webb, right? Gardner Webb, yep. You know, you look at their season. They had a great season. Mm -hmm. They struggled in the SoCon, right? Do you think you can go get an immediate shot in the arm? Um, yeah, I think so. I've seen a, like, Hyle. Hyle came in as a freshman, won the SoCon. So, uh, even though he's not from Gardner Webb, it's still, it's still cool to see that. Uh, he's a Northeast Ohio guy who yeah, went to camp. Yeah, that, yeah, that can go down to SoCon and make some big noise. So, that's awesome. Man. How happy are you to get the monkey off your back? It's, it's great. I mean, man, you're happy, man. It's, it's, it's just fun talking to you. It's awesome. What do you guys do next? You know, do you move down to North Carolina early? Do you stay up in Northeast Ohio? What do you do? I don't know. Right now, I'm focusing in this moment when the state title. You got anything else for me, man? Um, hey, man, the zigzag is back. The zigzag is back. The zigzag is back. Anthony Bryan, hey, congratulations on the state title, man. Way to pick it up in ultimate fashion at the fall, all right? Thank you.